Hey there, my name is Christy and I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a HoneyBook Pro. And welcome back to our channel. We work with so many incredible professionals in the wedding industry to set up and maximize their HoneyBook accounts that I thought I would love to make a video for anyone else out there in the wedding industry that could get some ideas on how to tangibly use HoneyBook for your wedding pro business. Now when I'm talking about wedding professionals, I'm talking about wedding photographers, wedding venues, or even wedding catering services. So here are some examples of things that we have built out in HoneyBook for our wedding pros, and then I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to set some of these up. If you're a wedding photographer, chances are you don't wanna showcase your prices directly on your website. So with HoneyBook, what you can do is actually set up when someone inquires, it automatically sends your wedding packages and pricing guide. This way you've captured that lead, you can nurture them well, and you're able to give them the information that they want in order to move forward. If you're a wedding venue, you can do the same thing. Showcase your venue, the beautiful property that you have, the catering companies that you work with, and your seasonal prices. Another thing that we've done for our wedding venues is make sure you have a vendor form that collects all the vendor information and insurance documents that you need before the wedding date. And lastly, let's talk about catering packages. We've worked with some amazing catering companies like gelato carts, or Italian Piaggio drink scooters. And when someone inquires, they're able to see the different packages that that catering company offers. They're able to select their options and whether or not they wanna grab a call with the caterer beforehand or just make their selections and check out and secure their dates, HoneyBook makes the booking process seamless. And now we know weddings take a lot of prep work. If you are a wedding pro, you know this. So HoneyBook makes the process super streamlined, is able to automate pieces of that process and make sure not one single detail slips through the cracks. Okay, so I've given you some good tangible examples. Now let's actually dive into HoneyBook and show you how these work. So I've given you some good tangible examples of three different ways that you can create smart files for your wedding pros business. Now we have helped so many different clients in the wedding industry and events industry in general. So there are so many different things you can do for with your HoneyBook account, with smart files and automations. But I hope these three examples just give you the idea of the power that HoneyBook has. So first let's go into the first example of a photography brochure. Now this can be a brochure for your photography business. It could be for your venue business, your catering business, if you're an event planner. So take this and apply this to your business, your branding, your business model, etc. So I'm actually gonna go and show you inside the template gallery to even bring this vision more to life because they have specific like photography examples. So you can even go into the template gallery and use these yourself as well and then just input your photos, your branding, or you can absolutely start from scratch. Um, but I am going to search photography and there was a specific one, I think it was this one. So you could see wedding photography pricing guide. So I'm actually gonna click edit this template and then just show you, so you can also save time and apply your default theme in Smart Files. But say this is um, when someone inquires, you can either send this to them automatically or you can decide who you want to send your pricing guide to. So, you could see all the different pages. I'm actually just gonna click preview and walk you through this. Now, I'm not gonna go into every single detail of how to set this up or how to customize it. You can see it's really user friendly. Um, if you click into here, you can change the text, you can replace the images, but we also have an entire playlist just on HoneyBook Smart Files that goes through like every detail of like changing colors and customizing these. So I wanted to mention that as well, if you're like, oh cool, I want to use smart files but have no idea how. So if I click preview, let's just go through the client experience, what we're looking at. So this would just be like, congrats on your engagement or a little bit about you, view the experience, and it's really showcasing your beautiful photos, um, the process, the details. So you're already impressing them from like the moment they inquire. 
right? So here are the wedding day details. Um, here are the collections. So this is where if I exit the preview, you'll see these are service blocks. So another cool thing about this is in the settings, you can actually say that if someone selects something from the service block, then draft a proposal for them. Um, and then that it wouldn't send them the proposal, but it would be drafted for you with their service selection. So you just have to click a few buttons and send it over. Um, so that's the collections. You can showcase your packages. Another good thing about this is you can either choose to show your prices before getting on a call or not. And there are definitely pros and cons of both. If you want to hide your prices, you can always click on here and then click in, hold on, let me click update, click in the design and then hide the unit, hide the service price, right? So they're just saying, okay, it looks like I would need collection two or three. Um, and so let's just talk about pros and cons real quick. If you don't show your prices before getting on a call with them, then you're able to make that connection with them first and then tell them your prices. Um, so, you know, it's more likely that even if you're a little bit out of budget, that they'd still grab a call with you, maybe they'll really like you and still think it's worth booking. Um, or even if it's within budget, but they're talking to a bunch of different people and there's competition, if you guys vibe together, then there's a higher chance that you'll get booked. Um, the pro to showing your prices is that depending on the amount of inquiries you have, you're not wasting time on too many phone calls that when you do tell them your price, they don't book. So even if they get sticker shock and they still decide to take the call, you're even that more likely to book them because they already know your prices. So definitely something to consider and absolutely a preference thing. Okay, so collections, you can even add the add-ons and next steps and book a call. So you can see how beautifully branded this is, how much it'll nurture your client, um, and how it literally looks like a mini website. So even if you don't have a website yet, these are super easy to pull together, especially with the template center, being able to just put your photos and your details in here. Um, but again, giving that extra personal touch to your potential client. Okay, so now let's move on to, we talked about if you're a venue, the example of gathering vendor details. So we've actually done this for people. I'm gonna go back into my templates. We've actually done this for a ton of different vendors that we've worked with and this process works really well. So what we do is actually create a questionnaire template. Um, and now this is, uh, an example, I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to start from scratch so you can see. Um, I'm going to create a questionnaire and we call it vendor details questionnaire. You can decide to make a header, put a pretty um, like image behind here. You can name this whatever you want. Um, and again, there's a whole video on smart file content blocks. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just add a text block and then reuse it from a template. So let's do this. Um, let's just bring this in here. We'll name it vendor details questionnaire. You can put like, um, please provide your vendor details below. Then upload your insurance docs to your client portal here. Okay, so you can also edit this text to be as custom as you want. I'm gonna show you where to get your client portal link. And then we actually only typically add two questions. Now you can add one, you can add multiple, and we'll do this as a long text and say vendor details, and then um, like name, email, phone number, insurance, yes slash no. 
And so that way they would just put like one vendor name, email, phone, yes slash no. And I would just put this as a placeholder so they can see like what you're looking for. So like one, two, you can also put in that description, like if you have any questions um, or need any more specific information, blah, 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 let me know, or email, and then put your email there. So this way, when they, this can be automated, right, through an automation that 60 days before, or 30 days before the event, the wedding, you send this automatically to them and say, please upload your vendor information you don't have to ask them because HoneyBook is asking for you. They get this questionnaire, they fill it out, and then you get notified that they fill it out. So they're gonna put all their information. You can actually print this out once it's submitted. And then in terms of the client portal, you can always find this in your company settings, in the domain and client portal. Just grab this link and then hyperlink it. I also recommend putting this in the email that's going out as well. So then they can just click on the client portal, upload the insurance documents and everything is in one place. Sounds like a dream, it is. <laughs> so apply this to your business. Maybe you're not a venue, but maybe there is a questionnaire um, that you have to send out before the event or the wedding. Maybe there is um, information that you have to gather through a questionnaire that this could be automatically sent to them and you don't even have to think about it. You know it's not going to slip through the cracks. Okay, so that is the vendor details questionnaire example. And then the last example I want to go through is creating a booking file. So the example we did was, you know, a catering package. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to um, that photography guide and I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's pretend this is not photography, but instead catering packages. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move the collections to the first page, and then you're gonna see what else. So basically, going to delete all these. Now you can absolutely do this from scratch. I wouldn't recommend starting with a photography file if you're a caterer necessarily, unless you really like the design. <laughs> um, you can change the buttons. So this I would say, book, uh, select your package. Now you can also do this. We've also done this for entertainment companies and a bunch of different uh, businesses as well. But just to give you another example, an entertainment company, DJ, game shows, MCs, they, requested from us that they have a blank proposal to send to their clients with the package that they know they want, but then also a type of booking file so that if they get off the call and the client hasn't decided which package they want yet, they could send them a booking file with the package options. They could select their package, then it'll upload into the invoice, the contract, and then the payment for them to pay their deposit. And so let me show you what that looks like. So here we have the example of the packages. For this, I would absolutely recommend showing the price. Then I'm going to add a page, start from blank and do contract. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my example contract and just put it in here really quick. Okay, so I just took this contract template. I'm just going to paste it in here as the example. Then I'm going to add an invoice. So I'm gonna change this contract. Then I'm going to do invoice and pay. Standard invoice. You can change the payment schedule as well. So let's say this was due that date and then this was one month before the wedding. You could do that. It could be seven days. It could be however short or long you want before then. So this is invoice and then payment. Okay, so select your package. Next, next. Oh no, so this would be next contract. And I know I'm going fast. 
Um, but hopefully you're just getting the idea of the power of this smart file. Next payment. And then submit. You could also do like a next page, like book your planning meeting, or you could do like welcome, like pop confetti, something like that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and update this and then I'm gonna show you how this works. So this is for an example of a caterer, but it could also be photography, it could be anything. It's basically what I would consider a booking file. So when you send this to your client, what they'll be able to do is select their package, move on to the contract, it's gonna input their information in here. Then you're going to be able to, hold on, move on to the payment. So it uploads the payment in here, it has the due dates, and then they'll be able to pay their deposit. So you wanna make sure for the contract, the smart fields are all filled in, and we have a whole other video on smart file contracts. Um, but basically have the selection page, the contractor invoice next, and then the payment. So they have the power to select the package, sign the contract, pay the invoice, boom, you're done. So I hope those tangible examples were helpful for you. Um, HoneyBook has such incredible power for the wedding industry and service industry and really helping you not only save so much time with your booking process, but also truly elevate that client experience and really impress your clients from day one. So I hope that video was helpful for you in learning how you can set up HoneyBook to help you automate and elevate your client experience in the wedding professionals industry. If you're brand new to HoneyBook or maybe you're not even brand new but you just feel like there are so many features you know that you can utilize but don't even know where to start, we actually have an entire HoneyBook course in our system school that has 50 plus videos going through every single detail that you need to know to set up your account. It even comes with plug and play resources to really streamline and fast track your HoneyBook setup journey. I'll make sure to link it in the description below if you wanna check it out. And if this video is helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of other HoneyBook videos that could be super helpful for you. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah.